What if a chatbot could instantly give you instructions to getting a certain permit? What if council meeting minutes could be posted within minutes? What if your wait time at the DMV, oh, this is big, was cut in half? You have our attention. Uh, yeah, these are just some of the ways artificial intelligence could be used in state and local government. And it was the topic of a groundbreaking conference in Annapolis this morning put on by the University of Baltimore. Caroline Carol Forback has the story tonight. A complex problem. Seemingly simple jobs takes long if they are farther from the main operations. Solved in a matter of minutes. I should be looking at my resource allocation, increasing staffing, maybe process optimization. Using artificial intelligence, Director of General Services for Baltimore City, Berke Atia, created a plan to make the department more efficient, something he says normally takes months and multiple analysts to do. And it gave me data visualizations to add to my memo if I want to. It was one of many uses for artificial intelligence discussed at the William Donald Schaefer Conference titled AI and the Future of Government. You could use it to simulate uh, urban planning scenarios. Dylan Hayden from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development said AI can help with anything from drafting policy documents and analyzing large data sets. It can detect patterns and find correlations in unstructured data. To streamlining and automating public services. How easy would it be to say, hey, these are my needs. This is, is there a program that matches up to my needs? The possibilities for AI in government are endless, but Nishant Shah from Maryland's Department of Information Technology says the key is making sure it's used responsibly. Our use of AI should be clearly documented and disclosed. Individuals' privacy rights are protected by design in our use of AI. And one of the biggest takeaways from the conference is that when it comes to integrating AI into business and government, what we do in the next two years will determine the next dozen. Reporting in Annapolis, Caroline Forback for WJZ. Caroline, thank you. And if you know of a story in Anne Arundel County, reach out to community reporter Caroline Forback, who is on your corner and in your corner, covering stories all throughout the county. Email newsroom at wjz.com with your information. Artificial intelligence, scary, but can it's be good here. too. Yeah.